American coffee at what time? Hopefully my glad you coffee. I don't know why you're drinking coffee right now. <gasps> Spice cream is in Shabetto. And also this video is actually not about gay, gay life. It is about life in Japan. Yes, it is about life in Japan. And frustration, frustration. that you wanna, we're doing this video to, to make Andrew happy. It, no, it reminded me because I've been going through some processes lately. I've lived here for, let's say over 10 years mm -hmm. and I was surprised again. That's uh, the rare thing. It's so a what good reminder? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought we'd talk about it. So today, I thought we would talk about hanko mm. or income. Income. By the way, hi Tokyo Tops. For the viewers at home, if you don't happen to know what a hanko is, it is a seal. It's meant to be a signature, essentially, or to, yeah, to replace the signature. Yeah. And they use it in Japan, and it's a common thing. However. Do you have four? Have three, but not all fancy. Okay, so let's pause it there for a second. Why do we have so many? Well, there are three basic types of hanko. The first one is mitomein. This is a casual seal used for daily necessities. For instance, signing for a package or approving something in the office. Mitomeins are not often unique, and many can actually be bought at the 100 yen shop. The next is ginkoin. This is used when opening and operating a bank account. As it is registered with the bank, it is considered quite official, and thus can also be used when signing some official documents such as rental contracts. Ginkoins are usually quite unique, and it is recommended that it be different from one's mitomein. Now, the last one is jitsuin. This is the highest level of hanko, and it is used for such things as starting a company, purchasing a house, or writing a will. This must be unique, match the name on your residency certificate and must also be registered with the government before it can even be used. You could use other hanko you have such as the ginkoin, but only if they fit the strict requirements above. Now, back to the video. So I need to do some paperwork that required a jitsuin, mm. so that the top level. And in order to do that, I had to go register my hanko. So I was like, <clears throat> cool, Three. I have three. Choose one. One of these would probably work, right? So I go down to the office and I give them this one because this one's my favorite and the one I use the mo most. They said no because my name on this is in kanji, mm. which I get that's not on my passport. Yeah. And this one's in kanji too. Mm. So both of these are out. Yeah. And then I have this one which is in katakana. Mm. And they said that there's a system where which it should be in English, but there's a workaround that if you register your katakana spelling of your name first mm. with the government, then you can use that registration of the way that you spell your name in katakana to then register a katakana jitsuin. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm just amazed that it can fit so many characters of yours. This is actually shorter to write it in katakana than English. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess it's my longer. last name is very, very easy, yeah. that's why. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, cool, let's do that. So we start going through the process. Mm. Then they're like, great, let, now let's see your hanko. So then I take this out. Now, Japanese people watching will probably understand why this is not allowed. Do you understand why this is not allowed? This one? So it was now written. Oh, I know, I know. Like it's the stamp one. Yes. You can't be like that one. Yes. You have to like press, you yes. have to press on it. And yes. So I have two different styles. Yes. And this was considered as less official. Yes. The, w the reason why this one was thrown out the window was yes, you're right. Yeah. So it's not made out of a hard material. Yeah. Because it's um, like a soft, like rubbery sort of material, it can change over time. So in like 10 or 20 years, it could change its shape, mm. which means that if I do it, it might not match. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, so I have these three. I can't use any of them. Yeah, that makes sense. You just provided why they can't use so them. So they said that then now I had to make a fourth. Mm. And so I then we had this thing, do I do it in English or do I do it in Japanese? And then they decided that Japanese would probably be better because it was shorter. Mm. So it fit on a smaller one better. Mm. So then I registered then with the government my spelling 
of my name in Japanese, mm -hmm. Katakana. Then I went to the Hunkle place and then got them to rush this because I needed it a ASAP. Then I got that back. Then I went back to the municipality office mm. and then got this registered and now official and sealed. I'm not against the idea of Hunkle. Mm. Of course, we need signatures. It's right? pretty. It's pretty. We need, and like people need signatures and things to tie back to them. It makes sense. Yeah. My issue is do we really need this many? Like, I don't think you need that many. I do. Though. This is my Ginkoin. This is the one that I use for my bank. Okay. Right? And so I use it, it has my first name on it, which is considered okay mm. for the Ginkoin. You can use your first name, you can also use kanji. But why do you want it to be in kanji to begin with? It was with? just made in kanji. But you, it's something you requested. It was actually made for me. So it's a gift. It's a gift. Once I got into the company, I got this one mm -hmm. because they didn't want me to use my first name. Mm. So they gave me another one that I was using my last name, but they liked the fact that I was using kanji. So they put my last name in kanji. Mm. And then I used this in my first department. Then I got to my next department and my next department said, why is your name in kanji? Mm. It shouldn't be in kanji. It should be in katakana. Mm. So they made me a new one. Mm. So now I have two mitomains, and this yeah. one's in katakana. You can't throw this away. Well, I could throw it away, I guess. Yeah. And then, so then comes to this recent thing where I'm then asked for, I'm, I'm doing some like something official, and people are like, bring me your hunkle. So I bring them three, but I was not allowed. Yeah, you so, have to be something different than your Bikinko one. That's I think. But that, there's the a level. But think of like the ridiculousness of this is it's like why it's not okay. Why right? would you think of a signature? Mm. Think of a signature that you're allowed to use. Say again, I'm not. I don't have an issue with needing a signature or one thing connected to you. But why is one signature only allowed to go so far? Think if you had four different signatures. Like we would actually think that's fraud. No. Uh, okay. But actually, if this you have this one, and you can use this one for bank. You should have this for the start. That's my point. Yeah. You should only have Jitsuin. Yeah. So you, you should, should only have. Eyes. So only make a Jitsuin when you come here. Where you fit, fits Jitsuin standard, I yes. would say, right? Make one that fits Jitsuin standard from the start. Mm. Don't make one for fashion. Yes. I agree that this was probably made for from fashion, fashion, but it's there a gift. Shouldn't, it shouldn't be. It's a gift. But no, it's a gift. If it's a gift, and I can't use it. That's one thing, but I can. I've used this no, for. But, I've used this for years. <laughs> like, why am I able to use mm. kanji here, this here, katakana here, this type, etc.? It's it's the lack of consistency, which is very unusual for Japan, if you think about it. But I would say jitsin, like, unless it's something really big, you'd never ask for jitsin. It's true. This is the first time I've ever been asked for it, but I still don't need four. Can, can you, you imagine? Can but you, imagine, you only need can one. You, can you imagine me just going? No, but I need this still because it's connected with my bank. If you start with this, I one, have yes, but now I have to go back. So maybe you should give, give people advice that it all should be something matching with your passport. It shouldn't be in kanji. So for example, yes. I know lots of white people come. <laughs> I know there are lots of people come here trying to fit completely into mm -hmm. the Japanese society in the kanji fashion. Like, why did you even try to make it in kanji? You know, you don't have a name in kanji. It's not official. But it was trying to be why, fancy, Why are right? you trying to read? Why can't I have it? You use alphabets for your name. Because it, because you guys are colonizers. That's why you asked us to use <laughs> uh -huh. it. And I will also say that this was also given to me. So my company decided that they would make it in kanji. They didn't decide it for they did. you. They did. You know what? Fucking weeb. <laughs> You're just weeby. They made it for me. I didn't sit there saying, can you make me a hanko and kanji, please? <laughs> oh my god. Fucking weeb. But, well, I understand the frustration. Like, mm. I understand why it's not necessary. I don't, I don't think it's necessary either. Um, but it, it's kind of just what it, it is, you know? You're at fault as well, because this is, this you shouldn't. It's, it's a gift, okay? It's a, it's a souvenir. I still, shouldn't be able to use something that I can't use the whole way. Okay, well, so that's all your complaint. Show sure, not. <laughs> I'm surprised, because you're usually... Uh, I'm actually surprised on how... Uh, but I feel like the major frustration is you can't use this for Jitsing, which makes sense to me, because it's not your real name. But also, I guess, in the same way, writing my name in Katakana is actually not my real name either. 
And actually, that is something that I created on my own based yeah. on the phonetics of the sound of that. If I'm then registering how I write my name, why can't I register it in how I choose my kanji? But this is、um, more official to their culture. This is more phonetic. But do you see what I mean, right? There's this weird thing where it's like, you can do this, but you can't do this, but we can't do this,、okay. but then you can't do this, but then you need this. And okay, guys, I get it. Let's just. Let Andrew have it. Okay, I yeah, agree. I'm, I, yeah, poor no, you,、I'm, Andrew. Yes, poor me. Poor you. Poor me. <laughs> But you're happy. Did you, you get want, it solved? Do you want me to stamp you? Like, why, why don't Here, you just give me as a gift? Why, okay,、Here. Andrew is actually giving a giveaway because、Here. he's no longer、Here. using this one. You're mine. It's、oh, cute. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are your final thoughts? I um, I think there are lots of rules in Japan like this. So, like, this is not gonna be the only thing、mm. that you wonder. Why, you know? I feel like a lot of things. I just stop thinking why. It's it is required. It is what it is. I feel like living in Japan, there are so many things like this. Like we are not able to use logic to analyze why. What's the reason behind?、Mm. There's history and everything. So I understand your frustration.、Mm. I'm glad that you sorted it out. But no, <laughs> I'm not gonna give you more than this. I think you said it well earlier that when you. Do get a hunko because even though I think it is disappearing, I think you will inevitably, if you live here, you're gonna need one at some point in、mm. your life.、Uh, get it to match your passport. That's the safest thing、yeah. to do. Also, though, make sure you get the right size. Which、oh, I think don't use the rubber one. If you use, just exactly, only need one,、yeah. get the wooden one. Get wooden at 12 millimeters and get your name written as on、yeah. your passport. And if your name is so long it won't fit,、mm. put it into katakana as a second option. So let us know in the comments if you've run into any of these in any other countries. You know, as Mike、yeah. said, maybe there are sort of these things that don't follow logic; they don't make sense. And we will see you next week. All right, bye bye. bye.